These are busy times for farmers, obviously, with the harvest uh, going on all around us. Um, but the, the mere fact this is on the agenda, this trust is flagging this up as a poly ob- policy objective, will give you cheer, I imagine. Yes, I think, um, I think farmers should be cheerful that we have a choice now of two candidates, both of whom uh, have rural constituencies and actually have quite a good understanding of agriculture compared to most MPs. Uh, I think I probably favour Liz Truss at the moment. I think she probably is speaking the right sort of language. I think Rishi Sunak is uh, slightly too much Davos man for me, and I sort of slightly fear the the globalist agenda there, whereas I think Liz Truss is more likely to go for something more homegrown. And it's great to hear them actually talking about food security. I mean, uh, before the wake-up call we had with COVID and then with Ukraine, uh, nobody in Whitehall was talking about food security. In fact, quite the reverse. They they thought that we, you know, some people were saying we didn't really need an agricultural base in this country at all, that we could just uh, buy our food off the peg from wherever it's cheapest in the world. So very encouraging to hear her talking uh, in, in that language. And also in terms of deregulation, I, I mean, I think we now have an opportunity to uh, not have a a great reset. I think that's probably the last thing we need, but a good reset of agricultural policy and, dare I say, a bit of a clear out of some of Boris Johnson's woke friends in number 10 who didn't really understand um, agriculture and were talking the language of, of... wilding rather than feeding the the nation. And I think Liz Truss has hit on the number one problem that at the moment that the NFU would, I know, have raised about shortage of labour. And we've found it very difficult on my farm. We're arable and dairy. Uh, Very difficult to find people to milk cows and, uh, you know, join our team. We we have actually just... just, um, employed a couple of people in the last couple of weeks, but it took us several months to find anybody. 